Hey, Guy Cochran here today, and we're at the DVE store here in Everett, Washington on a lovely uh, rainy day. Black Magic's come to uh, let us see some of their goodies inside of the Black Magic van. Come and take a look. So we're inside of the Black Magic van, and I'll walk you through some of the cool things that are inside of here. Uh, one of the coolest things is this fiber studio converter. So we can run long lengths a mile away or even more. And this is supplying power, video, plus comps, plus shading. So we can paint the picture. We can control iris. Uh, all with, I'll show you another box over here that does that. Uh, up top, we've got the Hyperdex. And the way this works is in the van, they've got multiples of the units than the actual back of the unit. So you can see what your ins and outs and your XLRs and your SDIs. Over here we've got some of the uh, HyperDeck Studio Minis so we can record directly to SD cards. We've got the Terranex so that we can do conversions, so we can do cross conversions, up down conversions, we can do SDI, uh, we can embed audio, disembed audio, and again we've got the HyperDeck uh, Studios here as well. Over here we've got the, the duplicator so you can duplicate up to 25 of whatever you want to feed in. So Right now it looks like we're feeding in a 1080p signal and there's 18 cards in here. And we, this is like the VHS of <laughs> the olden days when we used to have to do dupes on the, uh, on the fly with racks and racks of, of decks. And now we can just do it with this one unit and we can do 25 cards at once. So we can sell these if we're doing an event where at the end of the event we want to sell the broadcast, we can, and that's the duplicator. Got the Ultra Studio 4K. This is uh, nice for bringing uh, footage in or out. To a, a computer you can plug it in via uh, if you have an old Mac Pro you can get a PCIe card and do an Express 34 you've also got uh, Thunderbolt connections that's more modern so you just plop that in uh, you also have uh, optical for uh, sending in uh, via fiber you've got SDI you've even got down to composite if you want you've got XLRs in and out and time code over here we've got the smart video hub so we can do, I don't think this one's glitch free, uh, that would be a clean switch. This one's the smart video hub so we can route, this is a 40 by 40, so we can route any of these to any of these. So we can say uh, I want number one to go to number 40 and we can do it all by, by telling it uh, source and then uh, hitting one and then I want the destination to go to let's say one of the hyperdecks so I can feed a camera over to multiple hyperdecks if I wanted to. So that's the uh, smart video hub. Over here we've got the Smart Video Duo, right now it's running uh, Waveform and Vector Scope. Up here we have the Multiview 16, so we can do a split screen. This one we can do 16 little, little tiny uh, videos on a big screen, like on a plasma. We've also got uh, the back of it here, so you can see all 16. Over here we've got the old, old ATEM Talkback Converter. Actually this one looks like it's new because it says 4K. I don't think the one that I had was 4K. So this allows us to bring in fiber and do talk back so we can bring SDI in and out and we can talk to our people and we can do long fiber runs and convert to SDI at the, at the mixer. And then here we've got the audio monitor. Turn it up. These are nice to have in the rack so you can not only visually see that you're getting audio, uh, but you can solo left and right channels so you can hear what those sound like. Uh, you can cycle through your, your inputs. So AES, EBU, analog audio, hi-fi, or SDI, and then you get the nice visual as well. This is nice to have if you're doing web broadcasts. It's really nice to be able to visually see that you're getting audio and getting video so you know where some kind of failure point is. Cool device. Then you got the 2ME, which is actually the 4ME. This one was uh, the one that you could upgrade. If you had a broadcast studio that was a 2ME, you can get the free upgrade to a 4ME and basically be able to do, how many inputs do we got on that one? 20. 20 inputs on the on the forum me and then what do we got here we got the video hub master control a 1me production studio 4k and the television studio and down below here we've got the control surface this is the 1me control server. this is uh, this can control any switcher so it's uh, it, it is called the 1me in that advanced panel but okay. it can control all four me's by pressing uh, whichever ME you're looking for. Cool, and then here we've got the, what's this the phone? This is our control surface for our cameras. And it uh, has the ability via the switcher 
to control the Ursa broadcast, which is outside. We're looking at the uh, Ursa broadcast camera, and this one we actually have the Fujinon lens on it with the 20x zoom, and then we've got the fiber converter on the back, which goes into the studio converter. So over this one cable, this one really rugged cable, we've got power, we've got SDI, we've got talkback. We can also control the camera. We can control things like iris. We can, we can paint the image. Uh, we've got control of red, green, blue, master pedestal, all that, all over one cable. Really cool setup here. And the price is just amazing. From a few years ago, what you used to have to pay for this similar setup, uh, you can have multiple cameras, so really cool setup. All right, we're inside of the Blackmagic van again, and we're taking a look at the ATEM Television Studio HD inside of a portable case. This is an SKB case that has two uh, RU rack mount unit where we've got in here a web presenter so we can just add a laptop and we can be cutting and actually ISO recording uh, a couple of the cameras and maybe the output, program output. So a really cool portable solution that you can just show up with one little tiny case all the cables loaded in, Ethernet switch, you got your HDSDI cables and everything, plug in your monitors and you're ready to go. So really nice, simple solution. And then we, last but not least, we got DaVinci Resolve running. This is the mini, mi panel. mini panel. And so we've got the three wheels, very cool setup. And that, that's it. That's a lot of stuff in one van. We're glad to have Blackmagic bringing, bringing this thing in all the way from California. Cool stuff.